The idea of gasoline for cars and trucks made out of non-contaminating biofuels strikes most people as a good idea. But so far, the only way to make it is to break down edible foods like corn into the sugar needed to make the fuel. That's caused concern about using real food for fuel. Another way to make biofuel is to get sugar from plants that are not edible, even thrown away corn husks. That's the standstill facing industry now. There's no way to do it. But a team of scientists at the Los Alamos National Lab may have found a way to get sugar from those non-edible plants by breaking down the walls inside those plants. Yana Yana Curran is on the line from Los Alamos. Hey, tell me, have I got the story about right so far? Um, yes, um, that's right. Uh, so, um, so currently, I think most of the ethanol is being produced from, uh, at least in the U.S., mainly from corn. And, and this corn-based ethanol, I, I think even though it's, it may be cheaper to make um, ethanol out of corn, it interferes with the agriculture and the food um, aspect of the uh, problem. So the DOE, I think a couple of years back, um, really started focusing on ways to make um, ethanol from non-edible part of the plant uh, or from like things like switchgrass and popular wood and things like that or even corn stalks. Uh, but with the non-edible part of the plant, um, they have something called cellulose. So that's what we actually are studying. Uh, cellulose is um, it's like a, a crystalline form of uh, glucose polymers, so it's glucose chains stacked uh, on top of each other like uh, sheets stacked together and form this crystalline form, and then in addition to that, in the plant cell wall, if you look at it, you will also have a couple of other components. So one is called hemicellulose, which is another kind of a sugar, and another one called lignin, which is like a paste which keeps all of these things together. It sounds to me sort of like a laminate wood, layers stacked on layers and glued together. Um, yeah, so they are, they are stacked together uh, by kind of a chemical interaction, and then in addition, they are just, and they look like fibers, basically, come uh, going in different directions, and, and, and these fibers are kind of clustered together. But the part which we want uh, to make, uh, make fuel, actually just the part which is called cellulose part, which, is, which has uh, glucose in them. Um, but the thing is that you had to actually separate that cellulose part from rest of the plant cell wall components. But now your research suggests there is a way. You have identified the way to break down these components. Uh, yeah, so what we have looked at is that we, we want to look at it at an atomistic level detail. How does this uh, cellulose um, look like? Um, and what is, so, so one of the things uh, which people do as part of the pretreatment process is that they have to heat up the whole biomass to like almost like more than 200 Celsius or something to break them apart. And, and so heating process requires energy. Um, so what we are trying to find out with this is that if you look at this cellulose at an atomistic level detail, what we are asking the question, what is keeping this cellulose um, together? What is make, giving rise to this stability which we are seeing on the cellulose? And is any places where we can heat it uh, that will break them apart much more easily? And you did find those points? Um, yes. So it would be possible to convert this very tough cellulosic material into something that produces sugar useful for making biofuel. Um, yes. As we learn more and more about the nature of this biomass and what is, you know, what, you know, about the kind of interactions involved and where can you actually attack and break, then that will reduce the cost. So we expect that this kind of findings will have a direct impact on on the first stage of the process or the second stage, the, the pretreatment or the enzymatic breakdown of the cellulose components. A lot of people are concerned that uh, using edible corn to make biofuel is, is a bad thing to do, mm -hmm. and so this would use waste like corn husks That's right. and yes. other materials that are not edible to do the same thing. That's right, and, and I think that's something which we want to stress as much as we can. That is that, that uh, going about using corn to get ethanol is kind of a bad way. And, and the better option is to actually use some other form of the leftover or, like, as you said, uh, corn stalks or some other kind of energy crops um, which can mainly produce um, this kind of a biomass, it will have some kind of a cellulose content, and then you use them to make um, fuel. Yana Yana Curran is a scientist at the Los Alamos National Lab. Thanks for being with us on At Noon.